How do you know if a degree and diploma or certificate is right for you? So not long ago, the most traditional way to start a career was obtaining a four year degree. Now with people changing jobs and career more often than in the past, is a four year degree worth it? It is one of the most common things you may think when getting prepared for your studies and certainly a viable option. However, there are additional routes you can take when considering a new career. Let's find out what is the best option for you. And yes, I will cover also the basic student of intern living expenses in the USA. So watch until end. And before that, don't forget to smash the like button for YouTube algorithm. And remember, it's completely free and makes a huge difference for this channel. What's up you guys, it's Pritam here. Hi, if you're new to this channel, I'm a professional cook based in the USA, currently working at a healthcare hospital. First thing, if you're wondering how much do I spend monthly, then here it goes. My phone bill is 56, Wi-Fi is 65, electricity is 130, room rent is 570, car insurance is $60, Apple Music 15, Amazon Prime $13 a month. It's $915 a month and I lived with my friends so I divide everything in half so it's $457 and my pocket money is probably $150 so in total is $607. So moral of the story is whenever you get outside of your country so get a roommate. Now let's jump into the main and interesting part of the video and before that hit the like button if you haven't done that already again it's completely free and it can cost you nothing but it means a lot to me what is the difference between a diploma a associate's degree and a certificate one of the biggest difference between a degree and a certificate and the diploma is that it takes time to earn them a degree comes in many forms and take the longest to complete it can be associates bachelor's masters or even a doctorate a degree can take anywhere from two to four years longer. A certificate programs often take months instead of years, and some can even be obtained in conjunction with a degree program. Diploma programs offer more in-depth curriculum than a certificate, but they're more like a certificate than a degree. Okay, so let's look in more detail and you will know what to choose at the end of the video. What is a degree? A degree is an advanced education option where you can pick an area of study to be in your major. However, in addition to classes that are specific to your major, you must also complete general classes like English, history, math and other topics as well. This provide a well-rounded education and the requirements for a degree can vary greatly depending on the major that you choose. Generally, you can expect to complete about 180 credits for a bachelor's degree and you will need time and uh, investment for that of uh, four years as a full-time student. A master's degree is typically completed after earning a bachelor's and it can take up to two years to earn. A doctoral program usually starts after earning a master's degree and can extend for several years. The exact period varies depending on the program and area of study. What are the advantage and disadvantage of a degree? One advantage of degree is that many employers often require one degree. Even if your major doesn't necessarily apply to the job, embarking on the journey for a degree and seeing it through to the completion also can show commitment and dedication, which can be an advantage in the job market. A couple of disadvantages when looking at a degree program uh, are the cost and the time it takes to complete. Absolutely. Even though most institutions offer financial aids and some kind, degree can still be the most expensive form of higher education. They also usually take the longest to complete, so require a significant time investment. What if you don't want to spend the time to obtain a bachelor's degree? There are many fields where you can benefit from the associate's degree, but you may be asking then how many credits is an associate's degree have? An associate's degree is about half of what it takes to earn a bachelor's degree. So around 90 credits for a time investment, it will take you about two years to complete the full time as a student. So there are flexible options, however, where the classes can be completed online or weekends or during the evening time. So if you're asking in your mind that what is an associate's degree, when it can be helpful, as with a bachelor's degree and associate's degree required, the completion of general education courses to help you provide a well-rounded education. So what is a certificate? A certificate 
achieved after you complete the required work in specified area or skill it doesn't require the general courses as degree does instead it requires just the classes and the training related directly to your specific area of study a certificate doesn't often overview of the area of study like diploma program does so what are the requirements for certificates in many classes you can expect to complete a certificate program in under a year possessing a certificate can be helpful full uh, to for you to build your credibility to your chosen field and the advantage and disadvantage of certificate if you may ask these are if you're looking to change your career and you already have a degree or if you already have some work experience on your schooling in your desired area of study by completing a certificate you can get the skills needed for a different career without having to go back to school to obtain another degree you can also get a certificate if you are looking to build on your current career or are looking at to entering a different part of your industry one of the disadvantage of a certificate that it can be somewhat limited you will have a career option based on your certification but it may be difficult to branch out where there is without gaining any additional experience or certification what is a diploma a diploma is a more in depth than a certificate and can take a little bit longer to earn but still usually less than a year diploma programs are also often more technical and diploma allow you to gain thorough understanding on your field of study though you won't earn a degree upon completion of the program then what are the requirements for the diploma diploma programs fill specific classes designed uh, to provide you with the knowledge you need and succeed in the job market and diploma programs also provide the hands on experience so you can learn and practice the skills that you will use daily the advantage or disadvantage on diploma that it can be uh, if you are looking to make a career change relatively short amount of time and the field uh, that you are entering and doesn't require a degree since the diplomas are often more technical trade based and they are helpful when you want to pursue an, another career and yeah uh, like as a culinary worker there are many choices out there and it can be difficult to know which option is right for you so the program that will work best for you will depend on many personal factors you will want to consider like how much time do you have to complete the classes and the field that you like to enter uh, financial aids evaluate your skills and interest as well so the takeaway will be from this video in a world where a variety of advanced education program can be completed in less than a year or even worth to get a four-year degree the short answer it all depends on your goals and the college experience and having the educational foundation a four-year degree provides in a certainly valuable uh, commodity to you that you possess and for those who you are working while attending school are looking uh, to change career fields or are wanting to run down their career path quickly as they can so the traditional four-year degree is certainly not the only option uh, thoroughly evaluating all of your goals and taking a look at where you plan to be on the future will be critical for demanding or determining which option you will equip the best for your career so that's for today and don't forget to smash the like button for youtube algorithm and go check out my other videos about my work and you can follow me on instagram until next time